um, Mr. Dunlow, we are now up to item B on the um, old business. Um, under uh, B is high school issues. Um, Mr. Dunlow, you had your hand up? Yep. Um, I would like to make a motion to approve the Pinkerton tuition agreement and associated enrollment agreement, as well as designate Pinkerton as our school of record, which would set the base tuition as 1079683. I would also like to ask Dr. Littlefield to commence the assignment process with, parent, with parents, which will include assigning all students to Pinkerton while allowing children to request for placement in Bow, Londonderry, Central, or West of Pembroke. Do I have a second? Second. Due, due to the out, due to the fact that we are having a blizzard right now, and we have a lot on, of decisions to make this evening on our agenda, we will be strictly enforcing Robert's rules. Every board member will speak twice to any motion on the floor. Yes, Mr. Liskars. So I object to you bundling all of this together, and I'll explain to you why. I plan on uh, preserving the integrity of myself on this board, as well as the integrity of this board itself. I choose to not partake in the vote on the Londonderry MOU. I would respectfully request that this board separate out the MOUs individually, they be voted on individually, as well as the Pinkerton. You need to stay with the motion on the floor. The motion on the floor. Oh, I am, is, Madam Chair. You he just did not cut me off, and that's rude. No, it's a point of order. You didn't say point of order. You just point of order. Oh, he has, we have a motion on the floor about the tuition agreement with Pinkerton and the enrollment agreement with Pinkerton. We need to keep to that discussion. We are discussing Pinkerton, not anyone else right now. Point of order. Can I have a clarification? Because I thought Mr. Denbo said the MOU with Bo. Did he no. not? No, I did not. I said nothing about approving the MOUs for the other schools. So is this just the Pinkerton? Correct. Okay. So I take back that, I stand corrected, but I'll continue with my point. You want me to read it back to you? So you have it in writing? Sure. Okay. I did, made a couple modifications, but I can give it to you. Okay. So Leanne, would you mind reading this into the record so I'm clear on what it is we're voting on? I'd like to make a motion to approve the Pinkerton Tuition Agreement and Associated enroll Enrollment Agreement, as well as designate Pinkerton as our school of record, which would set the base tuition at 1097683. I would also like to ask Dr. Littlefield to commence the assignment process with parents, which will include assigning all students to Pinkerton while allowing children to request for placement in Bow, Londonderry, Pembroke, Central, or West. Yes, Mr. Liskars, this is so, your second time speaking on this. No, no, this is still my first time speaking. I'm actually the chair and I determine it. It's the second time you've spoken on you, this motion. You are the chair, that's correct. And Point you, of order. All you do is you're supposed to manage the meeting. This is I a, am. a very you important... Twice. This you is speak a, twice. This is me. your second time. Call the police and have me arrested. Because, you know what, this is the most important issue that has ever hit Hooks at New Hampshire. We are trying to shovel a contract down their throats right now and you're inflicting Robert's rules on us? Be serious, Madam Chair. And you can take that gavel and swing it at somebody else because it's rude behavior. Are you threatening me right now? No, I'm saying, you. I'm giving you a, a recommendation. You can take that gavel and swing it at somebody else because I don't appreciate it. It's rude. That's all I'm saying. So don't read anything else in my comments like some of these other gentlemen that came up here. My point is this. I cannot support the Pinkerton contract as worded. I've been very clear on this. I've expressed it to this board. I've expressed it to Mary Anderson herself and the board of directors because there is a 90% clause in there. They call it the 10%, which means that the second graders 
of Hooks at New Hampshire who don't even really realize we're talking about a high school issue right now are going to be the first ones when that sixth gear hits they're going to wake up and realize that only 15 children estimated are going to be able to opt out of the Pinkerton contract which basically means this board is deciding tonight to force all of Hooks's children to go to Pinkerton Academy in Derry, New Hampshire, whether they like it or not. And I'm here to stand tall to say I'm voting against it. And I do represent all of the children's interests. If they had removed that simple clause, get rid of it, and then also apply it to their other sending districts, it would have been fair to the Pinkerton folks. It would have been fair to all the other folks that want to go to Manchester, London, Derry, Bow, Pembroke, or any other school. We have a child that goes to Alvern right now. What's going to happen in the sixth year? This community is going to be torn apart. Neighbor is going to fight neighbor for that 15 slots. And it's despicable what this board is doing. I don't approve it, and I will not support this. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Pro. Um, Madam Chair, first of all, I would ask that we don't limit discussion tonight. We've, we've been more than accommodating for everybody that wanted to come up and express their feelings tonight about issues. And this issue is a major issue, and I think that we shouldn't limit discussion on it as long as that discussion is relevant to the issue. Um, I do think we ought to unbundle this because um, there is really four things in the same motion and I may want to support one and I may not want to support the other and I may be forced to pick one vote to cover the two. Just to cover what we're doing here is we're, we're it's proposed that we move the Pinkerton contract to the warrant. We approve a, a, uh, a binding a, uh, uh, enrollment agreement in case that fails at the ballot to keep those kids going for a year. We're also moving to up the base tuition uh, that would affect the other schools um, from 10-2 to 10-7-8. Um, so there's a number of issues here, and I really think that we would be better, it would be easier for us to discuss them, it would be easier for us to vote on them um, one at a time. And I don't see that there's really any detriment to that. Uh, the, other, the fourth item uh, was that Dr. Littlefield assigned students and certainly if the Pinkerton contract passes, Dr. Littlefield will assign students. The question the board has not answered yet is how will those students be determined? And I think that needs to be discussed as well. So it's kind of when we're grouping this all together, I don't think that discussion is gonna be very efficient. And, and I certainly don't think it can be limited to two times to discuss four issues. Um, so I think we ought to, you know, just rethink this. There's no problem bringing these motions forward and, and voting on them, but why don't we just take them one at a time, talk about them, vote on them, and then take up the next one. The motion was brought forward to this board as a whole, as the four items together. It is the will of the board, whether they are removed or they stay as a bundle of four. Yes. I'm, good. I'm good with it as is. We, again, we've been, I want to say spinning our wheels, but it's time for action. It's time to get stuff moving. And uh, I'm going to vote for it, obviously. Okay. Mr. Liskars and Mr. Pearl, do you have another time you'd like to speak on this matter? Mr. Liskars. Um, it's very important that the public realize that we got an opinion from one of our attorneys. Uh, it's the attorney that also um, is from the SAU that supports our Auburn district who already goes to Pinkerton. Um, and that opinion of that attorney is that Mr. Denbo did not have a monetary conflict of interest because he was going to save over $5,000 by voting for this contract. I think that's one lawyer's opinion and I disagree with it. And the right thing for Mr. Dembo to do tonight is either abstain from the vote or recuse himself from the vote, as I did with the legendary vote. It's the only thing to save the this board. That's, that's my order. input. Thank you. Mr. Pearl? Well, I think that if this is my last opportunity to speak and we're not going to unbundle these motions, 
that we're going to do a real disservice. Uh, whether this passes or not, it needs to be done the right way. We need to have open discussion. We, we need to really talk about these issues. And bundling these together um, is, is really not the way. And if this is limiting me to my last time to speak about it, I just find it ironic that we sit here at some nights and have discussions for an hour about using a projector or something. And now we're going to pass a high school contract for 10 years bundled with some other things by limiting members to speak two times. So with, that in, with taking that idea that it may be my last time to speak, I would just like to go on the record about how I feel about the Pinkerton contract. I feel that Pinkerton is an excellent school and provides an excellent education. I feel that had this board started at the proper time and followed the proper process, I might be able to support this even with the restrictions that are in it that I don't love. But unfortunately, I feel that this board has failed. We failed to have the forums and to bring the public along. We failed to take into concerns those other people, the people from Manchester, the people that had different opinions. We failed to talk about these things and give them time to kind of absorb what was going to happen and to kind of get used to it. Now we've created a, a very divisive community. We have people that are at each other's throats here at the last possible moment. And I apologize to this board for putting you in this point because we should have gotten started with this a lot earlier. We should have done a lot better job of in, in bringing in the public. And then if we made a decision, we could base it on all of that history that we have. The forums, the information, the study, the surveys, all things that we did not do. So I'm left with a point now of saying, do I vote for this as a recommendation to go on the ballot or not? And the reason that I cannot vote for it is I cannot defend the process that, I, that I'm bringing it here. I've already said that I think Pinkerton's a great school, but there's a lot of issues with the restrictions, the distance, all of these issues that we have not studied. Even our issue about are we leaving Manchester or are we staying with Manchester? This board has not set forth a plan. We're talking two anchor schools or one. So we really did a lack of planning. We waited and pushed this to the very, very last minute. And I don't think that that's a proper way to make long-term plans. And I guess the irony is here that the actual last moment of it will be bundling four motions together and limiting us to speak twice on potentially the next 10 years of Hookset. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Demba. So this is my second time, I think. Yes, it is. OK. Um, so I just want to put out there the fact that obviously, if anybody's been following this, we've been all over the place. Um, is the Pinkin in agreement perfect? No. What I'd like to have seen a little bit better with the opt-out provision in the last half, which we did get, we pushed it back a year, also clarified some of the information as to the kids that are already out of the schools aren't included in that 10% number um, and a couple other items. So again, at the end of the day, when you go to a negotiation, you don't come out with everything you want. Um, but again, I think it's our duty to put this in front of the voters um, and that's what I'm intending to do. Thanks. Mrs. Axton, do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, with uh, board members having spoken twice on this motion, I'm going to speak once. Um, and I'm going to say that I just want the public to be aware that we have a legal opinion from Gordon Graham that says Mr. Dembo does not have a pecuniary interest in this and that he is free to vote on a Pinkerton contract. Um, um, Mr. Liskars, could you please sit down? The Robert's rules say people speak twice to a motion. It's been clearly stated from the public many times that we need I to I need to speak for the hooks at children and I'll stand here until I'm allowed to. Okay, well. We're going to call it I the, need to speak for the hooks of children. I will stand here until I am allowed to. Um, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, no, are you speaking on this motion? Because you've spoken twice. That's what I'd like to speak to, Madam Chair. No, you may not speak. I'm calling Madam it to Chair. a vote. All those in favor, Madam please stand up. I need to speak for the hooks of children. I need Ms. to be recognized by the chair to speak. 
You're not going to be recognized by the chair. I am attempting to Please follow Robert's rules You're of not. order. Then I will speak for the hooks and children. All those in favor, we voted this by down aye. about a month ago aye. with the 10% in there. Unanimous vote, five to zero. All Tonight, they're Mr. voting Mr. on Liskar, the same please thing. Sit down or I'm Just going to have you removed. Year. That's the only difference. Shame on this board. All those opposed? I am opposed. No. Motion carries three to two. Mrs. Hi, I am getting very. You're feeling 